Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to inscribe four equal circles inside a square such a way that one of the circle or each of the circle will be touching one side and two other circles. So this is what I mean. So let's say this is the square that we have. We are going to have four equal circles. So one circle. So you can see that each of these circles is touching one side of the square so this, this this circle at the top is touching this side of the square and two other circles look at the second circle is touching this the side one side that's the right side of the square and two other circles so but the significant thing is that the square the circle inside they are all equal so how do we go about it so that's what i'm going to be showing you in this video so the first thing i'm going to be doing is to draw the square so for the square we are going to be using a square of uh, 12 centimeter the sides are going to be 12 centimeter so let me draw the square so i'll be using the aid of the uh, protractor this time around to get my square so I won't be going through the roots of uh, bisecting, you know. You know, there are different ways of getting a square anyway. So depend on depending on the method you are asked to use. okay so thanks for waiting i've just drawn the square now so the next thing i'm going to do let's label the square let's call this point a b c and d now having done that the next thing is i'm going to draw a diagonal so that means i'm going to draw a diagonal from point b to point d so from point b to point d i also draw that diagonal from point a to point C from point A to point C now we are also going to draw another diagonal in this way so to do that let's divide the lines into two so don't forget we are using the length of 12 centimeter so let me divide it into six each so let me mark that point six on the straight line So now let me join these points. So you can see to pass through this center of the square. Okay. So let's call this uh, point one, two, three, and four. Now. The next thing we are going to do is this. This is where the circle are going to be. This, once we are going to have one circle here, we are going to have another circle here, circ a circle here, and another circle here. So if this, let's call this point O. That means the center here. So that means one circle is going to be in point A, 
O D, and that circle is going to be A O B. So what we are going to do is that this angle here, there's this angle here, we are going to bisect it. That means this angle here, we are going to bisect it. So let's do that. So just pick your compass at any convenient uh, length of the compass. So let's just pick point, point B. So you draw an arc. That's to cut line A, B and the diagonal coming from D. So then I can extend it a bit to another convenient length. So you can see that it was from this point, from this point I drew the first arc. Now I'll come to the second point, I'll draw the second arc. So where the boats meet, I'll draw a straight line to point B. Straight line to point B. So now. We had this uh, this uh, line that is bisecting this angle is touching line 01.01. So it's touching it on this point here. So let's call let's call that point point M. So what we can do now is to pick our, our compass. So from the center, from the center point O. So let's just adjust our compass to point M. So this is point M. So what we can do now on this line, let's let's mark it on this. Let's mark it. We'll mark it here. We'll mark it on point zero two zero to two on line zero two. So what those points that we've just marked, these points here, these points. This point, this point, and this point. Those points represent the center of the circle that we are going to be drawing. So that point represents the center of the circle that we are going to be drawing. So the next thing for us to do is let me just make that point so that to be easy for me to. So the next thing we are going to do is now. <coughs> so from point M to point one, let's just use our compass to measure it. So that's going to be the length of the circle that we are going to be drawing. So this is the first circle. So from this point also, let's draw the second circle with the same length. Then the third one. And then the fourth one. So that is it for this video on how to draw a 4 equal circle inside a square such that it will touch two sides and two other circles. So if you find this video uh, helpful, kindly click on the uh, like button to like this video. If you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and I will see you all in another video. Thank you.